Hey guys, so today is January 27th, 2020, and it is, today is the fifth year anniversary of my YouTube channel, which I haven't gotten off the ground yet, but I'm expecting something soon, but a lot of my videos are being marked as made for kids or whatever. I have to go into each individual video setting and mark it as not made for kids. But it still recommends kids content after each one of the videos. I don't get it. YouTube is just weird. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are making scrambled eggs. And um, Cole told me this is a dumb video idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hopefully, if you don't know how to make scrambled eggs, you, this video you can use as a guide. If you do know how to make scrambled eggs, then I guess um, tell me what I did wrong. I don't. I want to make them right. So this is, I'm doing how my dad taught me how to make scrambled eggs today, which means we will need, of course, eggs. My, or making scrambled eggs, we would need eggs. I'm using two eggs. You can use however many you want. We will beat them in this bowl with this one fork, and we're going to have a second fork for eating the eggs. Um, plate for eating the eggs, of course. I like to put sriracha in the eggs just so they have a little flavor. Um, you're going to need some kind of oil or butter or margarine or something. Today I'm using sriracha oil. You can like, you can know, I can like, I like sriracha. Um, and then the other two things that I'm using, cheese and these fake chicken things, not sponsored, are optional. I just put them in because I like them. Uh, and then we're just using various seasonings like salt and pepper. We're using minced onion and this adobo seasoning blend. Let's see what's in here. Salt, uh, granulated garlic, cumin, black pepper, oregano, turmeric. All right. So this you can buy this in the uh, international aisle at your supermarket. So the first step is also we're using this pan. It's like a small, I don't know what this is. 8 inch pan, yeah, and this rubber scraper. So the first step is to crack the eggs in a bowl. I'm bad at cracking eggs, so there we go. Just one more. Always rinse your hands off after cracking eggs. And then you won't get to see this, but I guess, I guess you will. Here's all, here, look at all, here, look at our kitchen. I always add a bit of, um, I always add a little bit, like a sprinkle of water to the eggs, just so when I'm cooking the eggs, it doesn't, or it like aerates them and the water bubbles turn to like water vapor and it makes them fluffier. I don't know what it does, it just makes it fluffier. And then I will put the sriracha in the eggs. It always does that. And then we will be using a fork. Alright, so this is the trick that I learned to beat the eggs. You lift the bowl on one side, whichever, we're using whatever hand you are not dominant with. And then you'll pierce the yolks with the fork and just kind of like stir a little bit. And then here's the hard part that I didn't get on my first try. I still don't really get. Uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like stir the eggs for the first few moments, keep alternating going the other way, um, and then eventually you're going to start, once it's like blended kind of, you're going to lift, lift the eggs up so that they are, they get aerated, and that blends it really well. So I'll probably just cut this part out. But you can see, here I'll kind of 
show. I don't know if this is doing anything. color we're done so please put this fork in the sink do not use it again for anything else Luna can you be quiet Luna what is she barking at oh, whatever okay so the next step is to heat the oil you don't want it to get too hot but today we're going to be using sriracha oil and I'm going to need to shake it a little bit. Yeah, just to get the little thingies. We're going to heat it at on like medium. I don't, I don't really know how high I'm supposed to heat it because I learned how to do this on a gas stove. And I've just kind of been experimenting the past few times. And so we're going to pour a little bit of our oil. So if you guys hear any like buzzing sounds, my iPad is literally in the freezer because that's the only good camera angle I could get. Once it starts bubbling, you're ready to put the eggs in. Don't make, make sure your pan is not too hot because then the eggs will burn immediately on contact or pretty close to burn. It will, they will solidify and you don't want that to happen. If you were using butter, I would say throw in about a tablespoon of butter. Um, but I'm using oil, so I, I did like a tablespoon and some, I don't know, I just kind of guessed. Enough so that it lines the bottom of the pan. So it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Probably shouldn't stick my face over the pan. Alright, so our oil is bubbling. Um, if you were using butter, it would take a little less time. So, it's time to put the eggs in. Oh, I got that nice, satisfying, sizzling effect. Alright, we are going to put this bowl in the sink immediately. Immediately, we start stirring around. And, um, do not throw in any seasonings yet. We're going to wait for the seasonings. And we're going to set a timer for one minute, because that's how long you're supposed to wait to put the, the chicken in. If you're not using the chicken, you don't need to worry about that. So what you're gonna immediately start doing is you're gonna start by scraping from the outside edge of the pan in, which is how you get that nice scrambled effect. I'm using the rubber scraper. You can use a wooden spoon. Please do not use metal. It ruin your pan and turn the burner down a little bit. It smells good. If you throw in seasonings now, it will they will burn. The seasonings will burn, especially because I'm using onion, and burnt onion does not taste good. All right, so it's time for us to put in our chicken or our chicken. So just kind of like. Pop it in there. All right, so make sure the chicken gets heated. I threw in two extra for taste testing. this with the eggs and like cut them with the rubber scraper. If you're using the fake chicken or if you're using real chicken, if it's from frozen, defrost it a little bit first. Elizabeth. Defrost it a little bit first so that you can just like, it takes less time and you don't risk your eggs getting burned. Do 
please, please, please do not use metal in a pan. No way. It scrapes your pan up. I think I've said that before, but just goes for repeating. Alright. Now I think the chicken is... I was able to cut that one in half. So I think it's ready. Let me just grab myself a fork. And this is not the fork I used for the rye. I just taste it. Okay. Still a little bit frozen in the middle. But the eggs taste fantastic. And now this is the point when we will add our non-salt seasonings in here. Like our minced onion. This doesn't come out very fast. And our pepper. Please do not add salt directly to a pan. Unless it is for pasta and your water is already boiling. Otherwise, do not add salt to a pan. It makes it scratchy. It scratches your pan. Just like metal. We can stir those in. Man overboard. Probably shouldn't have done that. Right, my burner is on very low. It's like on two right now, but I have an electric stove. If you have a gas stove, turn it down to very low. I started with medium. I turned it up a little bit to let the oil go. Once I poured the eggs in, I turned it down to medium low, and I just kept lowering it. So, in case you were wondering. Okay, let's taste it again, and I think it's ready this time. Yes, it's ready. Turn the burner off. And just kind of like scrape them on. Probably, probably that was probably um, non. They use self-explanatory. You can just put it onto the plate. So here is our finished, or our finished eggs, but they're not done yet. What we're gonna do is we're going to add. Some adobo as you like. And then taste it. Please taste it before you add any more spices after this. Please a little more. Wow, that's so good. I don't, I don't need any salt. The salt is before I, I, I wanted just more just general flavor instead of adobo flavor. And then last, we'll add the cheese. If we added the cheese on to the pan, it would just get all crusty, and I don't like that. And there, here they are. Here are your scrambled eggs as made by me. If you want to add a little sriracha on top, I might. Yeah, let's do that. Some people might say that's a little too much sriracha, but I, there's no such thing as too much sriracha. Okay, here are our finished scrambled eggs. They're beautiful. Right. That, the, okay, so the trick I was talking about with the pan, what you're supposed to do with the pan, you're supposed to take it and um, add some water to it. Just enough to line the pan, same thing with the oil. Well, a little more than I used for oil. You can't see it. And then put it back on the burner, turn it on very low and set a timer for 10 minutes. So what that does, what it will do is it will um, boil the water in the pan and it will take all the grease and stuff with it. And so when I pour it out into the sink, the grease just pours into the sink and then don't have to do as much cleaning. So these are our finished scrambled eggs. You can see them better here. Want the fall off the plate. And let's try them. Mm. 
They're a little cold because I let them set for a little too long. Here, let me just make her them up. Instead of chicken, you can add, um, instead of this chicken, you can add peas or carrots or corn or broccoli, or just anything to your eggs. If you're going to add a vegetable, put it in and fry it in the oil before you put the eggs in. It just makes it better. All right. That was so good. All right. Um, thank you all for a great five years. Um, it, there's been some points where I haven't really uploaded much, aka the past five months. There's been some points where I upload so much, like this summer. Um, I will try to upload as much as I can over the next few weeks. I'm trying to set a goal for one, to, one video every two weeks. Um, <clears throat> I know I uploaded last week. Um, I've been doing pretty good recently. I will try to upload this today. So you will see this on the same day I'm filming it, which is so rare for me. So, I'd just like to thank you all for watching for five years. Though I have some, I have a few of you that I'd like to thank personally. You know who you are. But other, other than that, see you next time. And thank you for watching me make eggs even though a lot of you know how to do that already all right bye